In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Home Assistant up and running on a Raspberry Pi. This is the first video of my Home Assistant Beginner's Guide, where I walk you through step by step on how to add smart home devices to your Home Assistant, create automations, and make beautiful, easy to use Home Assistant dashboards. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. With that out of the way, let's get started. If you are following along at home, I do have a link in the description below to all the hardware I'm going to be using. First thing we're going to do is take our micro SD card and plug it into our computer. Next, we're going to download Raspberry Pi Imager, and you can use this with Windows, Macs, or even Linux. Open it and give it permissions. Then we're going to click Choose OS. Scroll down to the bottom to see Miscellaneous Utility Images. Select Bootloader and select USB Boot. This is going to allow us to boot from an SSD drive that we're going to connect to a USB port on the Raspberry Pi. The reason why we want to use the SSD drive rather than the micro SD card is the SSD is going to give us faster read and write speeds as well as have much greater reliability which will be super helpful down the road. Then select choose storage and locate the micro SD card. This one is called Konakit and it's a 32 gigabyte. Select write and then click yes making sure that you are writing to the micro SD card because this will erase everything on the drive. Then we can eject the micro SD card from our computer and insert it into a Raspberry Pi. Power on the Raspberry Pi and let it run for about 10 minutes. You should see a solid red light and a flashing green light. This is just running a script, that way next time the Pi boots, it knows to boot from the USB drive if it's connected. And while it's doing that, we can connect our SSD to our computer with our USB cable. And back in Raspberry Pi Imager, we're going to select the operating system, but this time we're going to go back, back, and go to Other Specific Purpose OS, and select Home Assistant. And if you're following along, you can select the top one for the Raspberry Pi 4 slash 400. And select Choose Storage, and this time we will select our Kingston 240 gigabyte SSD. And once again, select Write, making sure that you are selecting the proper drive. And with our Raspberry Pi turned off and the micro SD card removed from the Pi, we can then connect our SSD to one of the USB 3.0 ports. That's one of the blue ones. Connect an Ethernet cable from the Pi to your Wi Fi router and then power on the Pi. We're then going to open a web browser window and go to homeassistant.local semicolon 8123. If you're too quick on opening the web browser, it may take a few minutes for it to load, and once it loads, you should see Preparing Home Assistant, which it says it can take about 20 minutes. Obviously, it depends on your internet speed. The page will refresh on its own, and there we can create our first user. Once you created your username and password, you can then name your Home Assistant installation. I'm just going to call mine Home. We then want Home Assistant to figure out where we're located, so we can then select the Detect button. It'll get you pretty close, you may have to dial it in. I do recommend that you type in your elevation, which you can just search on Google, the elevation of your town. This will help with sunrise and sunset automations. Just make sure you are converting it to meters. And this is up to you, but I share all of my information with Home Assistant because it's anonymous and I trust them to encrypt my data and I wanna make Home Assistant a better platform for everyone. And immediately, it already found so many of the smart home devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi network. You can start setting them up here, but I'm actually going to show you in a separate video my tips on adding in smart home devices to your Home Assistant account. And that's it, your Home Assistant server is up and running. If you like this video, check this one out where I show you how to integrate smart home devices within Home Assistant, or this one where I can show you how to install your Raspberry Pi and an SSD all in an integrated aluminum case. But with that, I'll see you in the next one.